Moses, he gonna be the cold. Yeah. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going Mr. on? Jamaica. Whoa. Don't Say forget that. to like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, social media, YouTube. We are now on Patreon. Fill out that subscription so you don't miss out on these full interviews. Like, Let me tell you. Man, hey, man, we got to go on here. Stop. What's that last one you just said? Patreon. Yeah. I mean, Check it, man. About that. I'm on OnlyFans, though. Hey. <laughs> Say, yeah. we got a guy here today, y'all. He don't need no introduction. This guy do not man. Hot. Listen, man, this nigga right here, man, flies they come, man. Yeah, and the man. nigga is not shame. He say we can talk about anything. So if anything come out, nigga, y'all better enjoy this Ducky show, man. Taco, Rizzo man. is in the building. It's hot, TSL Bender, man. Rizzo, Rizzo cutting up. Straight Rizzo, up Rizzo outside. showed up on Boss Talk 101 in Houston, Texas, and showed out. He called me early in the morning from my boy AD. AD 300. You know what I'm saying? If y'all know who AD 300 is, if you don't go get my boy mixtape, he just dropped. He just dropped. My boy, and man. it is five. That's a real street nigga, man. The nigga can rap. You know what I'm saying? That's an old school nigga will out rap you <laughs> young niggas. And I vouch for him. So man. he called me and saying that. And then I watch your shows and my, my big cousin, we watch your shit. So shit. I can't to do it. You know man, saying? thank you so much, man. They you say know. I don't be talking and doing little much medias and all that. So it's 2023, do more shit. I want to say thank you, bro. First of all, for even giving us the time of the day, man. No, shit, so, you know it what I'm is saying? Sunday. I do watch yes, football sir. right now. <laughs> yeah. I got the, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we done yeah. shut a few football. What Mr. Sir? Hold on, hold on. Who's your football team now? I'm Who a do Dallas you? Cowboy fan. Yeah, what the fuck is you yeah, talking yeah, about, yeah. man? Why? We are Dallas yeah. Cowboys. Why? We are, Why? what you mean? Because my grandpa, they can't win no my games. grandpa, they look, don't win no I'm, games. I'm, I'm, I feel what you're talking about, but this is sentimental. My grandpa passed away, and I remember being a kid, I said something disrespectful as a kid about the Cowboys, and I got my as whoop as and you, ever as since should. then I would never go against the Cowboys as you should he I can exactly understand right my ass. I can understand that I give you that cause I'm one. from Houston everybody be like I, I get on Instagram I don't know if y'all be saying I get on Instagram every Sundays put my jerseys on and Cowboy Nation and whole Houston attacks me for this shit <laughs> but they don't know the history so right. hey man I gotta right. take that I'm gonna ride with my yeah. grandpa yeah. I, I'm from Houston motherfucking Texas but I'm a Dallas Cowboy Hey man, I give you that one. I'm not gonna jump right. on you for that one. Well, yeah, shout you out that. to Lil Kiki who gave us the same type of spiel uh, when he was on uh, here. He the same way, Lil Kiki. Shout out to KLC, KL. Shout out, fan? yeah. Shout out to uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Ronnie Spencer, a legendary Ronnie Spencer. You know, shout out to all these. And I, I don't even rock. Shout with out to bro that be doing the um. What's the DJ? The uh, the stew. He always do his stews. <laughs> um, B. What's his name? The DJ. DJ that's from Shreveport. Baby, baby, shout out hey, to baby, baby, cowboy. Hey, uh, baby, baby. He's, a, he's yeah. a DJ. He's a cowboy fan, cowboy and I, fan. he be cooking them stews on y'all. I watch it, baby. That's Cook real. Them stews, man. Man, goddamn cowboy nation, man. We all around the world. Y'all like that? You like, like that? You like that? No, she don't have to like it. She don't have to love it. She don't have to tonight. The America's team. Let's the America's say team, man. What? No. Well, so who your who your who your favorite? I like it don't matter. She Jamaica, man. It don't matter. She Jamaica don't have a team. Whatever. And I like the Saints too. She don't know, man. She just don't know. See, I got quiet. See, see, see I got Saints. somebody in my corner over there. See? Yo, man. I got it. For all those people who might be a little delusional, you know, the Cowboys are Come fans on, in the building. Come Cowboys on, Cowboys used to be America's team. They Come on, now. What y'all going to say when we put Tom Brady out tomorrow? Ooh, I, that ain't gonna happen. He yeah. in here right now. I said it. We are beating Tom Brady. We will retire Tom Brady tomorrow. We are putting him on ice. Know what I'm saying? He might as well go get some headphones and jam ice spice because it's over. Over. I agree with that, Rizzo. Rizzo. Oh, man. So, man, let's talk about you for a minute. Let's go down through there. Come on. Yes, sir. So, um, you were born and raised Houston, Texas. Yes, ma'am. Born what part? and raised North, right? North, straight out the north. That's why it took us forty minutes to get here. Straight out the north. You know what I'm saying? I spent time in Louisiana too. Stayed in Louisiana, Cachetta. You know what I'm saying? My mama had a little, you know, jail times and switching up with families. But I'm straight up out of Houston, Texas. Stayed in um, Exome, Greens Point. You know what I'm saying? And just a young kid just, was just trying to get some money. What's the thing about the North that stands out about the North compared to like when people Just talk how, about anywhere else in Houston? Um, you remember, on, I'm going to say it like this. Remember on like Lion King mm -hmm. when it was the black shade, the shadow where people never go? Like, okay, y'all. That's out the here, North. That's the North. You see how y'all came straight to out here and, yeah. and came straight to this side? Yeah. Ain't nothing out there. Nobody, Nobody don't go over the it's, North. It's, it's, it's people out there now. It's people that's popping. Is it bad? 
no, it's just, it's just, it's, it's nothing for you over there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's, it's no, no malls. It's, it, it's nothing for you to go over there for. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's what it really is. You know what I'm saying? But so the as, city needs to go ahead and start nah, building up some sure. stuff and I, you know I, make I, it. I love niggas like Slim Thug. That's why I love him because he redoing houses. He do stuff like okay. that. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I pray to God. Just let me get that get bag. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my part for you my gonna, community. You gonna help? I did my I do my little parts like yeah. giveaways. Um, I didn't did a so Christmas drive. All type so, of stuff like that. So yeah. if you so if you are able to. What's the first thing that you would create for your community that you think that would be essential for your community? Uh, me right now, like that I love working out, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to open a gym. That's my main goal to where like a gym for kids that want to play sports or, you know, um, <clears throat> just a gym period somewhere mm-hmm. like it's, it's going to be for the North, but me knowing that how, how, how it is, I'd rather put it in the middle, mm-hmm. but it's mostly for the kids. So if you do football, if you do any type of sports where your kid, like I know a lot of coaches that do different different stuff with sports, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I would try to get them all in one faculty and bring your kid, you know what I'm saying? And so your kid can have a spot to grow up in instead of in the streets, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, with working out. Because I love the sports growing up, but I ain't never just had it, that I didn't have a father figure to push me to do sports, you know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I just liked the sports, and my partner was doing it, so fuck it, I'm finna do sports too. And I actually was good, but I never had that that push to do it. I had to go get a job. You know yeah, what I'm so saying? that's good because I yeah, think that yeah. with sports, like, it'll help keep a lot of kids off the streets and blood. give them something like, positive. Like that's, that was something like, that's what I love my mama for it. And me and her had talks about it, but cause, I, cause how she raised me made me a man who I am. Nate, that's why I don't depend on nobody. I know how to pay my own bills. I know how to cook my own food. Like I don't, I, I do that for my mama, but at the at a time, that's, that's why I have a big talks about my, my nephews and my son because I don't want them to work jobs. Mm. I don't, I don't focus on school because that one time you start focus on a job and start making the money, that's when y'all, you see you just worry about money. And that's how I was. Like, I had a job. When I noticed that, damn, man, I made some money at a job. Fuck it, I ain't got this job no more, but I still need to keep making this money. Mm-hmm. I turned to the streets, and mm-hmm. it was over with. See, I never heard it that way, <laughs> it because I always, told, I always told, because my daughter, oh, my daughter is 17, and she wanted a job, and was like, okay, fine. But she's a straight-A student, right? It's like, the only way you can keep a job is if you keep them grades up, because that's the one thing you worry about, being a parent. But I didn't mind her getting a job, because in reality, in life, Life is not a one-track minded nah, way. she gotta know how to you work. You gotta know how to multitask. Correct. You be able to run a full job, but still, if you want to go to school or whatever, because a lot of people don't know how to do both. Correct. You, you understand so what correct. I mean? So correct. So I wanted her to be able to learn how to keep them grades up and still go get a bag and go go, go do what you need to do. Still have fun because that's life. You yeah, have to learn you how to multitask. Learn. No, you gotta have a multitask. But like I said, I just know like because I was like that. Like <clears throat> I was going to school. I was working a job and I was trying to play football, mm-hmm. but it's hard because it's not easy. But that's it's doable not, though. It's, it's doable, doable, but it's not. It's not as making it seem no. where where like I realized my mama at that time. My mama was a manager at the job that I was working at, so it's like okay. it's even more stressful on me because yeah. I gotta leave leave football practice. Be to work on time, on time, because regardless, this my mom. I still gotta mm-hmm. get paid, and I'm there to close because she's the manager. I ain't leaving. I'm helping her close, mm-hmm. so I'm 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 making the checks. I'm going to school, making my money. I'm doing my thing, but as like I said, me and my mama got into it. So if we get into it at the household, it leads to work. So I'm saying, if we if I if I, I mess up at a, uh, at the work. It leads to the house. But you got to you gotta <laughs> learn how to, just like everybody who, because we've hired employees, we had to do it ourselves. Nah, yeah, yeah. We tell people all the time, no matter what you into at home, when you hit that door, you got to leave that attitude at that the door and she, you got to come. She, 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 I, I give so her that. So that would help. With yeah, it helped me right. from where I am right now because exactly. I know how, I got my own LLCs, I know how to be my own boss. She, she, but this is still what I'm saying is, like, chase your dream first. Yeah. I really put my, like, I didn't know I was gonna be a rapper or doing none of this. My first dream was so wanting to be no. I okay. wanted to play sports, but mm-hmm. it got to the it got put on the back end because, because you saw that money. I had to get the priorities. My mama was by priorities first. I ain't gonna lie. So you were my an mama only child? No, nah, it's four of us, but it's just my mama about <clears throat> priorities. About you got to She she was trying to, and that's why I love her because she was trying to get me ready for the real for world. the real world. She in her head, mm-hmm. man. That, that that that. How many boys? I'm just two of us. I'm two the, boys I'm the oldest boy though. So, so everything fell on your shoulders. Yeah, right? as 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 priorities as in the real world, man, you gotta have to learn how to do this and that. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Go get Where the job. Was that? 
Mm, I love them now, but at that time, I, that's why, I like, you know, at that moment, at the time, you know how people don't, fuck my dad, I don't fuck with my daddy. I was young, so mm -hmm. I ain't. So you feel, did all of that? Yeah, but now I just talked to him. While, I literally was just texting while y'all was doing this. We talking about sports betting. This is my mm -hmm. best friend now, my me, because I go through the same situations now because I'm older. Because you're older, you yeah, understand. Yeah, I, I understand. So I don't never, I tell anybody that, man, don't hold y'all daddy until y'all actually have a talk and see what's going on until you can put your foot, until you can stand in those shoes that he can exactly. Exactly, that's like, the part, because you know even if, if you oh don't God. have kids and you didn't go through the baby mama, you know, the, that all that, stressful. you don't know. <laughs> I you know, know my mama, I mean? uh, she, she hard woman to deal with, so hey man, I understand. <laughs> I understand, man, he may have talked, man, you know how your mama is shit, I know how she is, I feel you, you feel mm -hmm. me? So, nah, though, I love him though, man, I love my daddy, feel me? But he came back around probably like... How old were you? My first time, at, I, I, was seeing, I remember seeing him when I was younger, but I don't have no, like... Mm -hmm. a real memory of seeing them but when i i want to say probably like 26 i'm i just turned 30 you know what i'm saying so I what ain't. was that conversation like when they first came back around and y'all tried to make amends because you still had like i said i wasn't i didn't hold nothing against them at because, that time because by the time i met him i already had a son so i i was going through the shit that right. he probably was going through so nigga shit just come be a father for me and be fuck me you, you got a grandson no nah, it was a thanksgiving Okay. It was a Thanksgiving, and the, my family that I had staying in, in, in Houston was telling me my, my daddy was down here and shit. I'm like, oh, I ain't, I, I never, I ain't got nothing. I'm not the nigga, man. Mm -hmm. I never, I didn't get that, bro, because nigga, like I said, I had somebody playing a father role in my life, but man, I, you only get one mother, mama, you only get one daddy. Man, I love him. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't for him. That's where I get my player skills from. It ain't from my mom. It came from him. So I love him because he raised it. Regardless if he know, I got his genes and I'm holding it down. <laughs> you know what I'm so saying? How did, so, so your stepdad, how was it like, you know, with your stepdad? Man, we had hell. Me and him was, yeah, we was bumping heads. I love him to the death of town. I love you him You told right him, now. how many times did you tell him, you not my daddy? I, a lot. A <laughs> lot. And then it was the fact that as a young one, I was, I was, Saying I was a blood and he was a crip, mm. so it was just so hard in the household. Like, mm. uh, nigga, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> like, you feel me? But as I'm grown, I love him. Like, he just before I came in, my mom and uh, stepdad is just at my house. They gonna be back. It's, like I say, I'm a, I'm I'm big on family. family. I'm big on family. Like, that. I'm so big on family because you only got one family and the life. A young nigga live like me, man. Regardless, man, you gotta be big on your family. It's only you got one of them. You feel me? Well, so, family comes a lot of drama oh God. too. Yeah, it do. I, but but I, I rather my drama with my family than a drama with a nigga I don't know. That's true. The fuck? That's the shit. True. At least I know I could beat you up because you my family. <laughs> we could fight however. That ain't going to be no shooting. Come on. I'm not saying some families do. <laughs> some families do. That, I'm not saying it. We, we all watch these podcasts and say Jesus or however whatnot mm -hmm. and see. It be some crazy ass shit in the world. But I rather fight with my family than a nigga. You got a, a better percentage of however it goes on with your family than an outside stranger. That's how I look so at it. So when did the music come about? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just ain't gonna do the whole thing. <laughs> We're gonna stop that right now. That ain't even I was that waiting ain't for that. I was waiting for I'm that. I'm gonna shut that down right now. I don't even wanna even let you even go there because you're not even prepared for what's about to happen in that world. Now, family, that's you your thing. Family. But me, on this music thing, see, because I live and breathe this right here. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I had to shut that down, y'all. Let me tell y'all to like and subscribe. ECEO is in the building. He be straight going in. The music side, all that. Y'all ain't got to send me donations. Just get on Patreon. And, uh, yeah, you can rock with me like that, man, monthly. Right? Stop playing. Man, so, yeah, uh, we gonna first talk about um, you are with TSL. Yes, sir. Lately in the it. news, TSL, uh, it's been Rico talk and all kind of stuff. Let's be real. No, be real. I've been man. sitting around looking like what's going to happen next, like a movie, nigga. I'm being real. See, most people don't have no interview like this. You understand? <laughs> I come with what I know. You know what I'm nah, saying? Yeah, and yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I just want to know, like, how does that affect you and your music and just what you're doing now? Even though you straight lace. I've been watching you. I'm looking at your entrepreneurship, the way that you're rocking, and I love it. But at the end of the day, still, with that foggy cloud I'm of whatever of people talking I, about. Man, I'm part of it. How it goes, how it goes. First off, man, 
thank God, uh, off top, you know what I'm saying? The, the, your tongue is a powerful thing, so I don't like putting certain things out there like that, you know what I'm saying? But that's just part of what I, what I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the streets, I, I signed up for it, that, that got me to who I am, that we are a label, you know what I'm saying? I can show you, t I pay LLCs, I pay taxes for all this shit, so regardless of what it is, but <clears throat> first off, it's never no Rico. That's just that's just blogs, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It was never no Rico case. That's all right. It's not a Rico case. The people that was picked up already had an open case. Okay. If you see what's going on in Houston, Texas right now, a lot of celebrities are passing away. A lot of shit is going on. So let's put a motherfucking, we got to get strict around this bitch real quick before the beginning of the year. Yeah. And who's the niggas that's in the city that's... This, yeah, that's the ones. <laughs> so that's just what that was. But everybody home and shit. Niggas on house arrest fighting cases for getting shit together. But let's make that clear. It was never no Rico. The main person that y'all put on the picture of the thing, name wasn't even on there. So we don't even understand how. But at the end of the day, that just goes on with it. Somebody had to tell somebody, hey, this is a part of this. And kaboom, because that shit was out. It happened three, four days before everybody even knew about it. Damn. So you know Well I, I talked to Brad when it came When it he came up Cause on. he had just came from up here And we had did an interview And I called him I say Nigga you alright You know cause it, when we did the interview None of this stuff had happened mm -hmm. Oh but, you but, speaking on Brad With the dude that be with Brad The one okay, that he and, just had done He and, just and signed this is what, and, this is, and, and this is what I say This is what I say bro Like Like bro Like no offense bro Like Hey bro Coming to be with this shit over here, man. Be ready to know what you sign up for, yeah. bro. I, I, on camera, me and Walt getting to it a lot, but he know I'm, I'm a real, I'm like I said, I'm family, bro. So nigga, I put this on my, on my face. I don't know everybody, bro. Oh, um, you feel me? I'm but big you, on that. You I feel think me? TS, didn't, didn't he put TSF on his face too? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. I, I, I fuck with bro. You yeah. feel me? I'm not speaking on just him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you just said anybody. Yeah, that, like anybody this shit bro. Crawl, you see what's can, going that's on. Right. You it feel go, me? It could go crazy. It could crazy. be that one person that, that think they know whatever they think going on, and it's you feel me. So that's why I'm big on like. Keep this shit what it is, bro. You feel me? We're rapping. I don't know you besides nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. rappers. No, no, I get it. And, and, and it makes sense because oh, you don't know. You can't control Man, don't the tell movement. Me, don't, don't tell me none of your street business, bro. Bro, the movement. I got my own street shit got me down the nigga. So don't tell me what you but got the going movement, on. The movement is so big. Y'all so sure. y'all come like y'all come like the and I love like, it. like a bull. How many, like, how many of y'all are Ask there? Him. A lot. Ask him. How many? Yes, I can't tell you. You don't know no count? This is what I'm telling you. Because when tell I even that. go on Instagram and it's put in TSL, it's a lot. I see it's, some names that I, I said, never like even know. Like I said, know. like I said, it's a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of niggas that's artists and it's a lot of brothers. We brothers, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas that do other other ventures in the business. Like okay. some people got gaming systems that we play games. Some people do clothing and part brands. Of the TSL yeah, some family. people just producers. Some people just do photos. Some people got everything. Just Big Bro gave us an opportunity and the umbrella to you know be under the umbrella of doing whatever we want to do under. The umbrella. You know How long you been in TSF? I helped start it. You know what I'm saying? I, How many years has it been started we, now? I, well, we just did. I said eight, eight, nine. Eight, like when nine you years. when you go see when you go see Walk um, first say cheese interview when we was at on oh, it's called RMG Studios. I'm in the back on the bike with a chip too. You know what I'm saying? Oh God! I was, we since that's why that's why I'm so I'm so committed to to walking in Sancho, bro. Because like I was I was a part of a group called Mo Gang before I was part of TSF, and I was just like in Mo Gang, I was just like the bro, the brother that was cheering for my other brother, like mm -hmm. hey Mo, jam his music, he hard, like da da da. But the time I got with walking them just one day in the studio by JP. He was saying they was rapping, and I was like, "Hey, bro, you should say it like this type shit." And he was like, "Hey, bro, before you tell me what to say, why don't you, nigga, go in there and do it right. yourself?" I'm like, "Nah, bro, nah." They them the niggas went to the club, and our producer J Red was in the studio, it was just me and him. And I came with my first two songs. Um, one of them was called "Flavor in Your Ear," and shit, it was a rap. Mm. So I, shit, he, they told me to rap, so I gotta stay down with this over here. And that's how y'all first met. <laughs> Yeah, that's how we met. We met through Fifth Ward JP. Fifth Ward JP mm -hmm. was a part of my gang, and Fifth Ward JP at that time was the hottest kid out rapping, and that was my best friend. And Walk being so smart in his head, he from the south side, we from the north side. If I could get these young niggas that's from the north side to come get with us from the south side, and we could make one big crew, 
Shit, and then at them those terms, ten, eight, nine, ten years ago, Southside and Northside went fucking with each other. That's what we were like, That's what we were wondering we because not, I know any y'all think man, it's not that many no. Northside folks. It, Are you the only person no, from Northside? Feel for JP, uh, Vucci P, um, JC, JC, a, a new TSF member. But as when it started, it was me, Vucci P. Um, Vucci P was even a DJ at that time. Mm-hmm. It was Ro- Roger Diego. Like I'm saying, it was a whole Mo Gang movement from the north side. So it was it was like four or five of us, but now it's like it's like three, four of us. It's other ones, but the ones that actually rap, it's like three, four of us, and the other ones are from the south side. But do you <clears> think <throat> that that um, that kind of helps to also? Bridge the, that was the, the that was the bridge. That's what that he was the bridge. Yeah. The walk is a smart motherfucker. That's what he wanted to he do. Was, he was he's smart. That's why we where we at we now. We heard the it mother, a lot though. Don't I've let heard don't, that don't a lot. let his antics. He gonna speak his mind. But at the end of the day, the motherfucker is smart. I tell him that he used to meet him. Used to, like I tell y'all, I'm not a nigga that hold my tongue with my brother. He used to always call me the rapper in the group. Like you always want to do the rap shit. All the rappers your ass shit. This is like eight nine years ago, nigga. You forgot that you was doing uh, motherfucking MCs and the black hoodie. Bitch, you the rapper. You feel me? You the rapper. Yeah. But at that time, he was so still so in the streets. He didn't, man. Y'all, it's, I say like probably a year ago, bro. Year or two, my bro really just was like, all right, y'all, I'm gonna be a rapper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at first, this nigga didn't give a fuck. And yeah. at that time, shit, nigga, yeah, yeah, I wanna be a rapper. I ain't got shit that's going on. I see what all them niggas doing. Man, we could do this, nigga. Man, fuck this shit. Nigga. We in the streets with this shit for a minute. I love him though. Like I was, I was against dissing Drake. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't want to do that. I, I hated that he did that shit, but I stood ten with him because that's my brother. Yeah, feel me? Whatever you. What did you say when he was about to? We got drug? into it, y'all. That's what I'm telling y'all. What'd he you asked, say? That, what, no, what he just you? like he asked us, like he asked us our opinion about it. You feel me? What you say? We not. I don't nah, think big do bro, that. I don't feel like you should do it. Yeah, you feel me? Say, hell, hell no, nah, we doing but it anyway. Nigga, we doing it anyway. Like, why even ask then if he gonna do it? Because he just at the end of the day, he still he a brother. Y'all, he still he gone. If, at the end of the day, he's his own man. Like right now, now I ask him about doing certain shit, or hey, bro, how you feel about me doing this? And he might say no, and shit, nigga. If I feel like as a man, I want to do it, nigga, I'm gonna do it. We still our own man. I still got my own over here. See what I'm saying? So you feel me? And he did it. He did it. And I still rock with him. I didn't get mad at him. You feel me? Shit. And we did it. That's what it is. Well, 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 what about when Young Thug and him had an issue? Was you good with that? Yeah. I, it, Cause at that time with that situation, the the Drake situation had probably happened like probably two three years. But after that situation, and I like this one thing before I say that this one thing I love about him, bro, because he showed me he he, he molded me to show me how to speak my motherfucking mind. Like nigga, regardless, I, I knew they been in this being in the rap industry and trying to do this shit, niggas bite their tongues and niggas do certain shit because nigga they trying to reach a certain certain limit. But Walk showed me that nigga, you ain't gotta bite your tongue and reach a certain limit. Regardless if it get hard or not, nigga stand firm on what you believe in. You feel me? Like regardless if he didn't say it verbally like that, but your action showed me, man. Stand on what you believe in, bro. If you yeah. if there's yeah. no nigga fuck it, fuck him, fuck that nigga, fuck the shitty shit in, nigga, no. And I love him for that, man. and that's how I feel. So at that time, I knew when he, when that young thug situation happened, everybody took it as Walk was, did, y'all, did. at the end of the day, the shit really was a misunderstanding because Walk just not nigga finna come out and say, nigga, it's a misunderstanding, nigga. No, fuck you then, nigga, if that's how you feel. Yeah. He got a, a female said some some little slime shit, and if niggas know with Sauce Walker, bro, Sauce Walker, if in Houston, Texas, he 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 banged his shit hard. Like, he, that's that, we had to get him up for a minute to like, hey, bro, you gotta put banging to the backwards, bro. You are a CEO now of a label. Banging don't matter no more, you feel me? So at those times, when that situation happened, he he was talking to a female, and the female said some slack slime, wiped her nose ass shit, and that fucked his head up. Like if you like you you told me before we show, if you did a, a banging on something hard and you got a female like playing with you like that, no bitch, you tripping. You feel me? And he just went on the internet and spoke on it, like saying, "Hey, bro, I what I bang is is how we bang like this. We don't wipe noses, we don't say slack." He's just speaking on what his banging is. And the world being the internet it is, they took it to what it is. Well, he also uh, talked about that drip and, and that he was, the fr- you know, the that was his terminology. Part. Yeah, and, for sure. And, and a lot of stuff, like I said, with, with, with us being Texas, 
I don't play about none of this. Nah, so baby. I'm straight it's with Texas versus I'm with everything. Him, with him no matter what. And uh, even, you know, just no matter with y'all. And I, I with, no, 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 with y'all, with the South. Yeah, and, for sure. and, and, and where I'm at over in the Texas, Louisiana, this this whole thing we, we come got, first. I'm just not playing about we none of first. that, bro. We come first. So, and I, I know niggas be saying J Money, J Money did this, J Money did that, the Atlanta dude. But how I look at it, how I look at it, like I say, at those times I was young. But how I look at it now, it ain't about who. who so J Money did drip as well. It ain't up, yeah. But it ain't about know, who started know. it. It's about who motherfucking branded this shit. Hey man, it could be another mm -hmm. nigga come right behind me that say it's hot, and this nigga take this shit way farther. You know what I'm saying? But it's just the fact that I got my business together. <laughs> <laughs> who do it the best? It's the who do it the best. If we had to deal with uh, famous Dexes after South Walkers. Feel me? We had a lot of Uzis doing his shoulder rolls. We had to deal with a lot of shit after we came out, bro. And just by us being independent, it's nothing we could do. We just got to take that and fight them punches and be a man. Bro. When we did And learn from those experiences. When we, bro, yeah, when we did some bro, bro this Drake and this. all that, it was like the whole motherfucking... I, I got to say this. No, I gotta tell, I gotta say that when you you exactly right because we look up and we see uh, it was somebody coming up they saying you know Rick Ross do boss talk I say what I say damn but that motivates me that's motivated because awesome. no offense he called himself awesome. the boss and all that I, 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 you feel me so it's like it ain't about who do you I say I'm a rock that's your motivate you that's your motivate you nigga I need you on my podcast exactly that's the way boss versus boss talk and that's that's the way it be like I never look at it as oh man it's an opportunity for me I'm like damn this gonna get an algorithm better in my mind that's what I'm thinking and we already on that algorithm hard so I'm thinking it's an opportunity so that's the way I think on it man Man. So you being a, a, I see you got your chain, nah, but I sure. heard about, I seen a nigga with some dreads. Yeah, for sure. Say that he snatch your chain. No, say that they rob you for yeah, your chain. Yeah, for sure. I got robbed. Set up. At gunpoint. Gunpoint. Set up. And and so <laughs> and you bounce back. You was here, hey, man. If, if once again, if you from the streets, if you, you didn't get the drop on, you get the drop on. <laughs> hey, that's what it is. But it's the way. Like I said, we're not gonna go too deep into the situation. Nigga didn't get the drop on me. Really? It wasn't. It was some backdoor snake shit. That's like you calling me right now to come do this podcast. Oh yeah. And it'd it, it be on some other stuff. <laughs> the fuck? Damn. I respect the nigga doing it gangster, man. Yeah, sure. I come, come on, man. You don't get no points for, hey, bro, I, want, I like your music. I want to feature from you, bro. Like, you don't get no points from doing mm. no shit like no. that. If you and everybody come in the street, like I said, though, man, we're not going to get too deep, but it's plenty of dope boys that go through this shit. Shit happened right I'm now. I'm just the looking shit, at your resilience. You got the, the chain you got now. Way bigger. <laughs> but if the shit happened all the time, we dealing with the shit right now on the internet, bro. I just get the, like I say, man, I just want, if any any person is going through these situations right now about change, jury, whatever in the rap game, bro, hope y'all listen to this and understand, bro. I'm I'm I feel like I'm the 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 uh the uh ambassador. Not ambassador, but like the sacrifice for this shit to show y'all like, hey bro, stop trusting these niggas. Man, hey, keep them, keep them niggas that's around. They put your life first before anybody. You know what I'm saying? Keep them people right around. You know what I'm saying? That that want the best for you. You know what I'm saying? Because that was one part I slipped up. I didn't have the people that I know that want the best for me around. You know what I'm saying? I was being money hungry. I was trying to chase every dime wherever the dime was. You feel me? And I was like I said, I ain't have managers. I was just being me, bro, doing it myself, and it slipped up. But when you in the streets, this shit comes with being in the streets. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I was a sacrifice to show you, bro. That shit. Can't stop you. Don't let that shit stop you. Keep going strong because shit. I feel like I'm my best ever in life right now. Like, man, when that shit happened, man, I I, I just bagged up from mm -hmm. just doing music and got my life together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I work out every motherfucking day. I'm in the gym every day. I'm doing my businesses. I'm just, I just, I didn't even have a fucking house. I got a real four, five bedroom house now. Like, mm -hmm. this shit just, it just helped me so much. So, like I said, everything is a learning experience. On blood, Anytime man. you go through things, I always tell everybody, I said, don't be blood. mad at the situation. Learn, learn from it. Grow, plant your seeds and grow Make from it. Make it motivate man. you to keep that's going That's all harder. it did. You feel me? And I, that's why I like talking about it. I don't never tell people, no, nah, bro, I don't like talking about it. Bro, I love talking about the shit because mm -hmm. the shit motivates me. It made me. you the be shit. extra precautious, oh, God. too. That's it. You ain't, you, you didn't stop nothing by doing I it. I tell you know people, as saying? long as God allow you to I'm still breathing. breathing. <laughs> exactly. I'm here to talk my story. A lot of niggas ain't here to speak on the situations after this shit happened. You know what I'm saying? So, I got to say this, though. Um, you know, the funny thing is that when he told me, really when he to told me you were coming, he's like, yeah, Rizzo, Rizzo, he a guy that love to work out and stuff like that. I'm thinking, I, I'm, 
I've never seen your picture or your Instagram, none, right? So I'm thinking when you're going to come in, I'm thinking I'm going to see this big dude that's going to be coming in, muscles and all of that. I'm like... So even Nick her, coming in five three. You thought you been see six 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 seven? Nah, that ain't me, man. So you know what I'm saying? I'm small. You get no points. With sm- <laughs> no, because you were talking about working <laughs> out earlier. <laughs> you fucking small, you bro. Shit out of you. On guard. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I'm a super shot. <laughs> bro, I swear, I'm scared. I'm gonna shoot die. shit at you, bro. Playing yeah, games, I'm man. I'm scary, bro. I'm gonna shoot the shit at you, bro. I don't want no problem, bro. I'm scared of my life. Bro, so you want to make up. it home? I'm fucked up now, y'all. Got to make it home. Ain't no up. Up. Got to I'm make it home. Fucked up. I shoot you. Yeah, <laughs> legally too. Yeah, my shit in my name. That's right. <laughs> legally, I'm yeah. telling y'all, I'm riding around this bitch safe right now. So that playing. shit, that was all I needed, bro. That was that, that all you, I needed. Man. I'm not playing. I'm not playing, bro. That's that why I, I stay at home because I'm not playing. Uh, that no. helps. <laughs> that helps. I'm not playing. So why is working out so important? To because you? I know you were talking about having that facility for the kids. Yeah, and stuff yeah. Because like I ain't when, like I said, when that situation happened, I ain't had shit to fall through. Like fall back to. I fall back to my first when it happened. The first thing I fell back on was drugs, bro. I was popping perks like a motherfucker. Mm. I was sipping drink like a motherfucker. And one day I had my son in my eyes, bro. Oh God, I had my son in my eyes, and he was trying to ask me to do something, play something, like play us, play. Do something. I forgot ex- exactly what it was, but I was high. Mm. And the next day, I woke up and I was, I felt bad about this shit. Like, so that because you know, but you know what? I, feel I love bad the fact that you said that shit. because you have some people. I've met so many people who oh, be God. smoking, who be on pills, doing all that stuff, yeah, and be yeah. like, it don't affect them. They can af- they can go to work, bad. they can shit. I so bad. it affects but you. It, it, it wasn't a, it wasn't it wasn't a fact that I was high. It was like it was it was like. I was the house was making a nigga emotional. Mm-hmm. Like that shit make a nigga emotional. Like, oh, so it does. Man, that shit make a nigga but emotional. But does it affect everybody differently? It, everybody got their own effects to it. Right. You feel me? Everybody, this is just what For was mine. It mm-hmm. was having me emotional. I didn't want to do shit. I was de- I was really at a depressed stage. Like, cause like I'm saying, if you fuck. Forget Rizzo, Rizzo. Like, mm-hmm. they know me as Ray Ray. I the pat. Like I said, when I started the interview, I had a chip tooth meaning ass. Man, I wasn't scared to fight nobody. I was, I had, I had that lit man syndrome. Like, right. uh, who? Fight, huh? Man, where you at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it ain't never. It, Wait a minute. Cause I, I heard you and Max O'Cream got into Yeah. It. So, you a little bitty nigga, too. I don't give a but fuck. But you got a hard nigga. Man, you I ain't don't. Like me, I'm here. trying to you tell you. Really this is why I'm trying to let these folks know in these comments they be playing with me, bro. I was see you and try to dive at you, bro. Man, I don't have no bull. Man, I, I'm glad I, I grew up, bro, because the old me, I, would, I was crashing out, man. I real life, thank God, man, I got a story I ain't never told nobody. Let's go. You, bro. Boss man, Talk 101 exclusive, oh nigga. Oh, God, I ain't never told nobody. Shout out to Bucci P, my nigga Bucci, um, who else, Dougie, um, um, and Free 2, man. I was I was I was like a club promoter as a kid, bro, and this was like one of the quickest ways I can make money. Boom! So we had a little older dude named Tucci. His name was Tu. He, he he locked up right now, so he had a little, he had us doing some little criminal ass shit. Like, man, I was so young at this time. He was like it was like we was in I forgot exactly how old I was, but we was in the part of the area in Houston on the north side. We was up early in the morning, man, and shit. We was trying to get some money, and we seen a taxi. It was a taxi, bro. Like, nigga, shit. We was in the car. We was we was following behind the taxi. And the taxi had somebody in the taxi. So they was finna they was finna drop they was finna um drop off the person in the taxi. And while we behind them and shit, we all in the car it was like, hey, bro, when he pop when he dropped the taxi off, we gonna hop out and rob him. You know what I'm saying? On guard. I'm like, big, big. So I'm the dude at that time. I'm the one with the gun because I'm trying to be the. Nigga, I'm him at that moment. I'm him. Boom, nigga. He hopped. The nigga dropped, hopped out. Whoever was in the back seat hopped out the taxi, and um, we we amp. No, he pulled the car in front of the taxi so he couldn't drive. I hopped out with the gun, trying to aim at him, and tried to shoot him. No lie, the gun jammed. I wouldn't even be here right now, bro. Damn. <laughs> no, yeah, right that's a, yeah, yeah. God has some I different plan for here you, bro. Right now, bro. You hear me? I would not be here right now. Man, God has some. I would plan, not be bro. here right now, bro. That's a, that's, a, that's, that's hard. That's hard. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah. I got 
So, you know, a lot of times when I'm on, because I saw Swood win and he pops up on my um, timeline and stuff like that. And I remember at one time I saw a lot of TSF doing acting and y'all doing different roles. And I know you've been in different roles yeah, as I well. Yeah, I got two movies I'm in right now. Yeah, I was about to say. So, yeah, how did you get into yeah, 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 that whole uh, viral how, right How now. did you get into acting? Man. How did I get into acting? Um, first off, Cash. I got a shout out to my brother Cash McIntosh. He from it was a, a, a the Texas movie, the Screw movie at that time. Yeah, um, yep. my boy Chill shot it. Chill shot it. Cash and Chill are partners and friends, and they needed a um a North Side dude for the lead role. And at that time, like I say, when it comes to the North, I'm for sure. If I ain't top one, I'm top three. That you gonna think about on the north, regardless mm. if you don't jam my music or not, you got to think of Rizzo Rizzo mm. on the north side holding mm. it down, mm. regardless. So, Cash and Chill put me put it together, and I end up on the Screw movie. From the Screw movie, um, did you have to do any acting classes? Nah, I'm a. I, I, I don't know if you could tell right now. Like I'm, he he got it. Like I'm. I, I got it, bro. Don't just. Mm -hmm. I, I'm down for going for acting class because, like I said, I've been paying attention to niggas like Lil Meech right now, man. And yeah. I'm a big fan of Lil Meech because, yeah. because before niggas was was even paying attention to Lil Meech, I was paying attention to him when he was dropping his little music back then and shit like that because I was a big fan of his his daddy. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But the world and all the shit that people fucking with him right now wasn't fucking with him then when he mm -hmm. was 20. He was trying to pursue his music dream. Fifty grabbed that boy up and. Now he the hottest thing around is motherfucking doing acting. So right. I I tell my manager all the time, hey man, I don't give a fuck what it is. If I hit tomorrow on acting, I'm hanging this music shit up. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. 50. Shit. I, I'm trying to stay in shape, 50 move to the city. I'm trying to keep building my resume. Have you and, met him? Nope. But the day I, I meet him, I'm going straight him. Hey, bro, I did this, 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 my resume. I'm trying to do movies. I don't give a fuck. Just give me two roles. I could die in the second one and I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. Like, not it, it. I'm not gone. Thinking. I'm gone. I'm gonna turn it up from there. I got you. Just change it. I got you. Wow. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I love movies though because you, you, you don't know how to act. Let me show you Who? something. Let me show you how to get down. I done act uh, so much. I done got it out of I done got out of trouble. You, here you go. Uh scenario. Give me a scenario we can go. Um, you know, uh basically, you know, you gotta act like you know, uh you just lost your girl. Give me that sentimental Damn. Damn, bro. You got it. No, no, no. That's no, it. I want to see more. No, I want to no. see more. No. She threw my motherfucking shit outside about a trash can, man. That's I can't hard. even go through this no more, man. I need to call somebody to come get help because she stayed doing it. She just motherfucking called the laws. I know you hear the laws in the background right now. I believe God that. damn, man. I can't. I don't even know what to do. I've been trying to fend for me and her, trying to be okay, a motherfucking that, that's man. Enough. That's enough. Now, now we got to go nowhere. Now, all I see okay, is niggas going to go stuff up, right? I'm finna go now. Can you cry? No, nah, another extreme. No, nah, don't cry. I don't want that. No. Nah. Gotta like let me yawn. Nah. You know when you yawn, it gets some crap. Right? No, I'm, I'm talking about now. Jeez. Now you the if 50 was here, I'm Now you the biggest dope boy that, 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 that just moved from uh, Harlem. Yeah, because you gotta be able to speak yeah, for sure, for sure, from for sure. Harlem That's to it. Texas. But you a big dope boy, you say, running from the say laws. B, say B, look at B. I just feel the move down here, down south right now. You know what I'm saying? And I don't need no wrong because I got that 50 in my, my batch right now and I ain't even finna play. I'm not finna play that with nigga, you. That nigga son, trying to get Say, nigga. son, I'm not finna play with you. <laughs> Harlem. Hey man, I think uh, hey. Jamaican accent. Oh, here she goes. She's Jamaican. <laughs> she's Jamaican, so. <laughs> bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jam Rock. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm switching up on you a little yeah. bit, man. And then I see look like Sauce lost his page again, man. Yeah, bro. He stayed losing the page, but he get it right back. He'll be back, y'all. Why did he lose it? At but this, he had that backup. That backup was strong. Yeah, he still got the backup. The backup That's strong. what he had right now. I'm, I, I'm kind of happy he lost it right now just because there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. You know niggas will take that and say they took his page because they watching him. That's not what happened. I'm bro. just telling you. Y'all got to walk an entrepreneur, bro. He promote a lot of shit on, on his Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Man, and like, you know, so he just was promoting something and... This is what happened. We get it right back. It wasn't nothing wrong. Damn, man. Yeah. So uh, it's stuff like that that in this day, today's time in society, you know, when people go through stuff, man, it, it, it's like it That's changes their life and the way they move. Um, because that is a, a source That's of a big source of income. Man, I seen nigga, I was with him when he lost it the first time. I seen like, you know, he like he said he do a lot of commercials for people, like saying like, 
if he they finna ch- he charged no lie he charged in like twenty thousand dollars sometimes for, yeah yeah that's big he's charged so I seen when he lose it, lost that page where niggas are, well, he'll tell him, well, man, I still got my backup page right now. Well, I got 5000 for you. Huh? Mm, mm. Nigga, I'm still South Walker. Nigga, I need what I told you. So I seen niggas start trying to act yeah, like that yeah, because yeah. they thought he wasn't getting his page back. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, hell yeah, that's how the niggas do act like that, man. So you gotta, you just, you, you just got to be able to. He a hustler. He oh, got, he's a, that's so he going to figure it out. Man, we that's all what the same. I love Texas about him, Texas niggas be hustling. That's what I love about him. He, he, he really embedded in us, the ones that surround him, to be a hustler, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you be ain't independent and be a hustler, that. bro. And create your own business. Oh, God. I know what you y'all do. say about you that nigga, what? man. I know you. I know you love him, baby. I'm giving it to y'all. He was not going to let that happen. Don't stop playing with that sauce walking nigga up here. Hey, no. <laughs> Shit. So nah, I just know You ain't got nothing to do with sauce here. This all about eBay. You're hey, be quick. Come on now. Boss talk. I'm about a boss's talk, man. Yeah. So, how long you been doing this music now? Um, I want to say eight years. Eight years. That's all? Eight so, years. In, the, in the entire eight years, I want to ask what's the most you've made off of your streams in one month? Damn, that's they, that done hit. Um, she done went in. Yeah, I don't, I don't speak on she that. Done she done went in on, on that, that nigga. I don't speak on no, that. No, the reason why I asked you. Yeah, I don't well, speak on that nigga. Or maybe you can, you can put Net like a more ballpark figure or say a roundabout. <laughs> no, the reason why I'm saying that, because you know a lot of people, I see a lot of talented people out there who don't want to leave the streets alone because they say that they make more money out in the streets than they can with this music stuff. So if people come across like I'm you really I'm, don't I'm make you, good money off of you, music let me give you this give you this because me and her just had this talk like two days ago it's a little post floating around right now about texas artists and they want to say it was top 50. i made top 20 on top streams of texas that's hard, artists that's so hard. i'm just saying like that <laughs> yeah you get his money is what he said <laughs> he hey, i'm gonna fuck if you don't right jam right my here. music i'm top 20 right now out of 50 in the texas artists i got a plat at home for a million streams on one tape you know what i'm saying hey, i got a song right now with mona leo did a million streams just the song so hey okay. i'll give a fuck if hey if i'm just popping out streams man i'm cool around this month like wow streams is what's hot right now the 23 shit streaming. so it is possible for a guy who's talented to get out of the streets and make their money but just by you being like i say by me being independent it's it not it's not it's about Investing and having other incomes, a source of incomes, bro. Like, okay. I first, when I started, I was trying to put all my eggs in one basket with right. rapping, thinking I'm gonna blow up tomorrow when this shit is, is shit. It's two Chains two chains was Titty Boy before he was Two Chains and mm. shit. He ain't be Two, 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 two Chains about 40. Uh, listen, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that, uh, Wiz Khalif was sharing your video and being independent on her. Nah, hurt. come on now. <laughs> and you wanna know why he shared it? Because I work out. He That's what it was. He, yeah. he it's, this was crazy. No offense to Wiz. Wiz fuck with me. He jammed my music and all, but he fell in love with me from working out. Like he loves me now from working out. I didn't, money man. Um, money man, rock with man, you. Man, a lot of niggas was been fucking with me, but when they seen that I was so serious with working out, they start giving me so much love. Like money man work out because this is not me. I'm saying this is um, but money man work out because of me. Money um, man, um, man. Half of Houston, Texas that's in the gym right now work out because they seen Rizzo do it. This is, I'm not, not no, like, ugh, ugh. I'm glad I motivated y'all to work out shit. I was 200 pounds. I'm five, five, three, five, oh, four. You yeah, was yeah, I was 200 pounds. I'm gonna show you a picture. No. I was 200 pounds. How long ago? But this gonna be my second year in the gym. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Just the other day. Yeah, I'm good. One to sixty five. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. What only motivated two. you I, to only, switch that? Only fans link too. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Know what I'm saying? Getting it in. How long did it take uh, you to do all, all that weight? Yeah, yeah, you thought I was gonna do all that and lose all that weight for nothing? <laughs> what's that? What's, what's that girl name? Man. Bad, bad, whatever. Bad, oh, yeah, bad money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hey, working out? Man, shit, gotta get it in. That's, How hard is it to take all that weight off? You just gotta want it, bro. You gotta want it. Like I said, that was, that was my depressed moment. Like I really fell back from the gym. I fell back from doing. I used to drop music like a take every other, every other week. Not week. I say every other month. I used to realize like the COVID, the COVID time. I was dropping a tape every other month type shit. Mm. Doing music, 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 music. When the situation happened, I kind of fell back from music, but I was still was posting it. I still was doing music, but my main focus was I fell in love with the gym, like. 
my partners and shit had to tell me like, damn, bro, you gonna be a trainer or you gonna get back to dropping music? Like, I had real life fell in love with the gym because I started liking the way I look. Like shit, like I said, I used to always get females, but- Yeah, who wouldn't love the way how I you look and losing all that weight? I started getting another little attraction of females when I started staying in the right. gym. And shit, by me being a nigga I am, whatever the females like, I am going back to the gym. You know what I'm saying? I'm still like that to the day, you know what I'm saying? So that's Do you what, train people too? Nah, I ain't, I'm, not, I'm not with the training part. I just like working out. I just, oh, okay. I'm just trying to work out, get some good endorsements out this shit and feed my family and open me a gym at the end of the day for the kids. That's awesome. That's all I want to do. You know, you were talking about streams earlier and, you know, they say rumors go around. Because, you know, okay, with social media streams, everything, people sort of manipulate numbers a lot with different things. You see it on social media all the time. No, for sure. Where people say they have 10 million um, followers when they really don't. Yeah, for sure. Because they bought it and stuff like that. Do you think that they manipulate the streams as well with something like that? No, for sure they do that. That's what's going on. At the end of the day, man, you could play with your numbers how many times you want. You still can take that shit to the label and get a deal. Mm. I'm putting my own money behind my numbers. That's the game. Okay. You just, I'm just doing it. A, a nigga just be doing it himself besides signing to Atlantic. Because mm -hmm. that's what Atlantic doing. But people just didn't know that. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's just in 2023 we got the game by being independent now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. This shit mm -hmm. got you. This shit about money though. Got to have some you gotta money. Got to spend money to make. Got to have that money, man. Got to spend money. If to you make don't money. feel like you can, you could do it yourself. That's what make niggas run the labels and shit. You know what I'm saying? Got it. Wow. Um, you, you got a song you just put out two weeks ago. Appreciate it's called that. Birthday Money. Appreciate that. Let's talk about the process and what even made you uh, put that out. I really don't be having no process, bro. I just really just go rap. It was a process, Rizzo, Rizzo. Um, you ain't just, you, you had to do a video, you had to do a song, you had to work with different people, the video person, the producer, all this stuff is something to talk about. People need to know your process. Niggas trying to do what y'all doing, nigga, give it up. That's I boss feel out. Yeah, that's I, Cause yeah. he just he bossed my that's ass. Bossed I feel out. it. But that's but real though. You right? You right? Trying to help people. But, that's what. That's right, what so boss look, talk what is happened. about, man. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, bro. This this since he, since he wanted to get it like that, <laughs> I got a manager and my manager did all it. That's it. That's it. That's I, as, a, bro, I, as an artist now, bro, cause I, I came from doing everything my fucking self. Okay. I really came from. Back in, I respect I'm independent. I respect on guard. So now my 23, all I want to focus on is doing music and trying to find motherfucking venues of making more money and doing more, more movies. When dropping music and all that shit now, man, that shit out of my hand now. Shit, I'm going to start tag lavish if y'all want this song to drop type <laughs> shit. That's the type of shit I'm on now. But I'm, because I, I came from really doing everything myself and that shit was a stress factor for me, bro. Like, that shit really stress a nigga out when you're trying to do everything yourself and you don't see... You don't see, you don't see it growing to what you feel like it's growing because you realized and paid to do this. Uh, man, I gotta drop it this day. This and this and this. When shit, it's it's like nigga, it's niggas out there right now that don't. All they do is fucking go to the studio and they don't even know what song from the drop. You say you do everything yourself, <laughs> but you have a team as well that that does different things for you. No, at, uh, shout out to Greg. On, at, at, before I had Greg, it was just me and my partner Greg. I, everything came off my head of, of me being the nigga who I am of what can I do today? What can I do today to do, 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 do. You have a manager. Now I have one. I oh, just, you haven't had one in no, very long. No, the only other per I'm giving, I'm saying Greg because that was the only other person that was helping me do this. Mm -hmm. He was a manager, but he was like, you know, like another thing, I feel like females get shit done better. Mm -hmm. That's one I'm big on it. I fuck mm -hmm. with females. I'd rather do business with females than a nigga. That's just off top with me. You know what I'm saying? So, so with that being said, I seen nigga like after I seen that, I seen nigga like Wallow say some shit like that about how he got home from jail and he linked up with nothing but females to help his shit. Even like um, Babyface Ray, he did an interview and said nothing but females is in his circle with running his personal business. You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga might get told no. And by him, us being having egos, fuck this shit then. All right, fuck it. You get told no, you not going for no. You a female, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, I'm finna try. I know y'all had certain situations where, you feel me, you had to go in that bitch and actually get it done, you know right. what I'm saying? That's what he got you for. 
That was stop right. it. I ain't gonna be messy. I ain't gonna be messy. Hell no, nigga. This right. boss talk. I ain't gonna be messy. Right. I ain't gonna be messy. Right. A real I nigga gonna go get it done. They Man, they tell you no. How do you think you a hoe? You gonna be mad? Nobody told me no because I'm aggressively making it happen. All right, then. I like that. It never stop. It it stop playing it's over on, there. It's on a certain. It's on a certain percentage of niggas like you out here. You see what I'm saying? It's on that certain percentage. About man, and this is crazy because I was just going through my timeline. Uh, spot him, got him. Had uh, um, Lil Dirk sent him back a hundred k because uh, he found that. out that he was you know snitching and he didn't want to have nothing to do with it, man. What do you think about these niggas that, that snitching or that's claiming to be snitches or uh, this whole snitch culture? What is up with that? Shit, man. Once again, that's like I said when I started the interview. You jump in the street, it's just what goes on. You gotta stand firm on what you stand firm. Man, like, I ain't the biggest street nigga. I ain't the, the, the most gangsters or whatever, whatnot. But if I if I did something, I'ma stand on it, you know what I'm saying? Because what niggas not be knowing, man, it's gonna come back out. Yeah. I don't know if you think in the world not gonna know the shit gonna be in paperwork. Like, mm -hmm. You told, bro. And so he sent that hundred K back. Hey, man. Oh, that hundred K, man. Shit, shit shout like out to Dirt. Dirt I don't... got that bread. <laughs> Take that back. No, nah, nigga. Because I seen your hair. Nigga, you wasting my time, nigga. <laughs> I need I'm, that hair, I'm, bro. You wasting my time. Deposit, nigga. You wasting my time, <laughs> bro. I'm going to send you hair. <laughs> I'm what telling you, you about, man. I, I, I'm, I'm being real. That's, that's a real situation, that man. I honey something back. Woo. That's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> that's, that's a bad it's motherfucker. It's just something to think about. You know what I'm saying? Honey back. You said it back like that. Oh. You sending the honey back? No. Nah. Now, I mean, cause the nigga, no, you, I'm I, just not I, rocking so, with him no more. So you gonna take a nigga hundred and not I'm do the video? I'm gonna give a nigga 25 back cause you wasting my so time. So you posting the video when it drops? No, I'm gonna give him 25 back. I'm gonna say, look, I'm gonna keep the 75 nigga, but I don't rock with you cause of what you doing. Okay, so he's I'm gonna go hold him. He's gonna sue you. Yeah, that nigga gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> give that nigga the whole hundred back. Thank now. you. Cause if I, I, I got that bread. Look, I ain't nah, thinking nah, about nah, that until nah, I don't got that bread. Yeah, no, nah, Dirk got that bread. Send that whole hundred back and get away from it. Let me get away from this Yeah, yeah, cause he gonna sue you. Yeah, yeah, nah, let Cause now you gotta promote my song. This a label. I'm dealing with this nigga, man. I'm done. Send the whole hundred, you right. Send the whole hundred. You know, like I said. I'm the hundred back. And these old videos be popping up, so you need to watch what you be saying, man. Cause yeah, the man. old videos pop up with you. Nigga, I stand on that shit though, bro. Yeah. Like nigga, didn't be thinking that nigga be thinking that tomorrow he might not blow up and that shit come out. Damn, See, I ask, I ask that in almost every single interview I've been doing recently. Is the fact that because I hear artists always talk about, well, I rap my life, I rap what I see around me, I rap what, whatever I go through. That's what but goes again, on, man. Ninety nine percent of what's going on, niggas rapping their life is just shit. But That's you gotta what, be careful of that because but, then the laws are watching that and come back and turn around and use all, right, so all that shit, against you. Okay, we're gonna say this then, and I ain't gonna get too deep because I don't know too much. But, mm -hmm. but, hey, man, I know Slick Rick and all them motherfuckers want to just make believe. No. No. All right, I'm done talking about it. No, no. I, so <laughs> I'm done talking about it. I'm done. I know the niggas back in the gap wasn't just make believe stories. That's right. I know 50 Cent. 50 Cent was make believe stories? He got shot nine times. So I'm say five. So Hove was make believe stories? The whole said he had some bricks and some uh, shit. And no, I don't do well. that on real. <laughs> I'm just saying. My partner Faison, well. nigga. Uh, hey, Faison say, well. Faison say, Jay ain't sold no dope like I'm, this. I don't know that. I don't, I'm not getting Faison it. Faison say that nigga ain't did this. All I'm saying. Faison say that nigga was doing, he was That's betraying, trend, man. That's all with Faison. I'm not with Faison, you, Faison, man. man. <laughs> I'm just giving you hints of what, like, it's music. And so <laughs> she said, 99% of you can't rap like, but shit, this shit been going on before Jay Z. It was going on after Jay Z. So it's like, well, shit. If 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 and and, and but it wasn't and, and not, down and back I'm, then. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. You feel me? Free thug shit. You feel me? I don't want no man in jail. I'd rather man be outside feeding their family because right. shit, niggas got families out here to feed. But if the fuck, if you gonna if you gonna arrest thug, man, it's a lot of rap niggas shit that got their ass Same locked man. up from back in the gap. Let me tell you something. Uh, That's what I'm saying. That's why I fuck with Charles the White. These niggas mad because I wait fuck with Charles the White. Charles the White say some real shit. But listen. But listen, you did. You was into it with him, wasn't you? Hell yeah. But look, this one thing I know, though. I get into it with you. 
Cause me and you, uh, be, you no, hey, I'm not, for male. Not saying you hey, like. I'm for male. Hey man, I came from where I'm from. Hey, I'm for male. From where I'm from, man. I'm from the north, and I stayed in Louisiana. I done ran into plenty of Charleston whites, man. It ain't Charleston white, not the first Charleston white. It's a lot of niggas like that. It's a lot of niggas got uncles and daddies and shit just like him. So it's funny to me, bro, because shit, I can go outside and see a nigga act just like him too. He just on internet. Oh, that's real. It's, I ain't, it's just on the internet. It's a lot of Uncle Tom man, nigga like that, bro. That's just what it is. That shit. At least he the type of man that chest head up, chest back. I yeah. fuck with it. Cause he regardless of how he it, it's it's fucked up how he says the shit. It's fucked up. It, I'm never I tell him this. It's fucked up. But when he break it down, it certainly damn. Yo, old ass is right, y'all. <laughs> you so feel? I, I heard y'all met recently, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, he called. Um, then once again, Charles the White fuck with me because he seen my growth. You feel me? From us getting into it to where I had other chances of getting into it with niggas. And man, you niggas can't even worth my time now. You feel me? And he see that I take care of my kids, my kid, and be with my son, my sons. He even I, I got a little ice cream business. I got. I know. Me? I'm about to ask you about it. Charles the White follow my ice cream business. You That's know what I'm saying? So he see what I'm doing, he see my growth, and he loved that I be in the gym, and that's how, that's what really made us, like, fuck with each other, because he reached out to me afterwards, like, man, I like what you been doing, bro, like, I fuck with that, you feel me, and bro had a show, and I know, I know a couple people that work for him, and shit, I pulled up. That's all right. That's it's all right. It, it, it just to get past your differences is a big yeah, deal. Yeah, man, we grown. Like I say, you ain't, you ain't, gonna, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no sense taking it to the grave. Man, I play with y'all, white, I'm gonna be in jail. So I'm type of nigga. I, hey man, I'm I learned from old heads. Those type of niggas like they supposed to have on your side. <laughs> no, that's true. I, I definitely, you know, like I said, my fuck. If y'all feel like that nigga is the laws, man, that's type of nigga you have on your side. Shit, yeah, fuck well, what y'all talking about? Nigga, I, they say he snitching. Man, that nigga snitch, bro. You go, you hanging with a nigga right now. If it go down, he gonna snitch on you. Yeah, you I, thinking that nigga so thorough? That nigga gonna tell on you? Yeah, bro. I had a uh, rain <laughs> rainwater. Rainwater came on the show, and and he, him in Charleston, the last beef wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That was the last one where he. It's always somebody for the ATI, Boosie, Rainwater. Sean and I'm a big Boosie himself. fan, bro. I me, love the Boosie. Nigga, you know me and him I got into it too, Boosie, bro. So at the end of the day, like you know, anytime me, I never did speak on Charleston though. Like y'all, my I mean, first interview, I didn't I speak on him. I mean, I, far as just like us having this, he he spoke on us on the show, but I never, man. At the end of the day, I'm a boss, my stay nigga. Stay away from me. I'm a boss. Still, I'm gonna I be to, real. That's I all to I'm learn. gonna tell you is, I to learn. this is Boss Talk 101, and when you a boss nigga, you fly high in the clouds. I, I had to, I had to, I had to learn. You gotta learn how to deal with certain niggas, bro. You feel me? And I learned how to deal with him. So let me ask you that's, this. That's really it. I got, I got, I got to ask you another thing, man. Like what? Your top three artists of all time, dead or alive, you know, that's something we do on Boss Talk. Any top, top three? Top three. Only any three. Genre. Only three. Any genre. Dead or alive, number one. Damn. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought. Yeah, nigga, get it together. We're going to be here for a minute. Number one. The top artist of all time is. Let me see if he's going to say the generic ones. No, no. This is Walker. That's hard. Like he's that. number one. My that's number one. one. Come on, okay, man. Give it up. No, brother. hold up. Hold up, man. <laughs> I love that, bro. That's that Walker. unity, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's unity <laughs> in the Walker. community, nigga. So I love Walker. it, bro. I love um, it. Um, why? No, why? Why Sauce, man? Because he, 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 the, if a nigga's not going to say it, he's the, he was the, for this 10 years and probably the next 10 years, he's going to be the reason why us Texas niggas doing what we doing. Wow. That shit. He, long as he breathing, man, shit, we here. Know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Niggas don't. You can hate them or not, but the motherfucker just dropped. Uh, uh, here I am. That bitch got an M again. That bitch got. He doing his shit. And once again, the nigga told me to rap. I'm never going against a nigga that made help me make money, help my career. Wow. Stupid. That's big. That's you know big. Number like, two. Gunner, you tripping? Gunner. <laughs> hey man. Hey man. You tripping, bro? You post that. You post y'all. Hey, bro. Man, stand what firm. What the hell, Gunner? Stand firm if you fuck with niggas, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. Bro. I ain't even mean to say that, but you I just had Gunner? I had to use that real quick because as a as a as a like man, stand firm if you. So fuck you with already niggas, rock bro. with Gunner? Nah, I'm saying stand firm. Like I'm putting it as if Thug was walk and situation. You feel what I'm saying? Like stand firm, bro. That nigga no, change your life. No, I agree. 
That man helped me change my life. I can't go against that, bro. However it go, as long as my family took care, bro, I can't go against man help change yeah, my but life. You, you I went, say that, you I say that now, but you ain't been I've locked been up in like that, bro. I, yes, I have. I've been in situations already. And you like held that. firm? Come on, man. My nigga. Y'all forgot, y'all forgot that we was raided uh, back then Did in the house. You I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You forgot that we had a, <laughs> do your research. We had a, a, a mansion get raided before. This is not our first time getting into into a problem. And, and y'all, I got picked up. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow, feel me? Stand firm. Damn, that's let that's the real. folks do their job. Damn, <laughs> let the folks. Damn, gunner. <laughs> let the folks do their job, bro. Man, boss talk one on one. You you let you hear Rizzo? Rizzo. Let them folks do their job, bro. Let them folks do their job. Number free, two. Hey, like I say, free thug. I don't want no man behind. Free boys, thug. Man. Number two. Um. I'm gonna go J Dog. Man, hold J Dog. The Young Hog. J Dog, Young Hog. <laughs> that man. Nigga. Helped, that man. First helped 48. Me. That man helped me. What? That man helped How? me, bro. You know that smoke, cuz. Shout out to I'm Smoke, man. I'm from Agus Home. He from Agus Home. And that music at that time, like, it was just. It was just different, bro. I remember going to real life, being in the club, bro, and nigga J Dog songs came out like before. Niggas was, you know how niggas had Bone Crusher songs mm -hmm. or like, man, J Dog was the one that was the like. He Which was one? Out, that behind. But ten? Hold, what what tape you want to talk that about? That nigga hard though. Um, behind tent two, behind tent one, motherfucking um, um, uh, um. Nigga, I'm a thug. I can't say the whole song when he used to, when he, like, he take nigga beats nigga and, and jump on them hoes. Like, that shit really was, man, like, niggas had Tupac's, but in Egg Zone, nigga, we had J-Dog. Like, he was just, he was just different, bro. Like, and, like, this was when he was talking about smoking, what he was on, how he was. He was just giving it to you thorough. Like, like, damn, nigga, you doing all that right now? <laughs> That's hard. Oh, God. So, I, and he from, he from my side. It's another nigga. And I'm going to go. I'm Number gonna go, three, I'm gonna go Slim Thug. Damn, I gotta slim. keep it home, bro. I gotta keep it home. Slim, no, I gotta keep it home. Like if we had a longer list, now that's be, it. But no, my three, see no Scarface, no none of that. No, he too young for that. That's what I would say, baby. No offense, I'm young. Yeah, I, he too I, young for uh, that. Uh, uh, uh. Mine's is the one. No Boosie. But that's why I gotta keep it home oh. first. I got to keep it Give home. I got to keep it home. Oh, you know I like that. Hey, look, I see Slim Thug in the morning at the gym. I got to keep it real. You got to see that nigga. I got to see him. Man. <laughs> And I, I got to and, see but, 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 but ain't nothing wrong with that yeah, nigga hard, yeah. hard. And then nigga I like hard. him like, like I love Slim Because fuck music I like his him As a He stay out the way He's still here He's irrelevant Sugar daddy Slim Like niggas <laughs> in the gym And shit If he go out of town You wouldn't see him Out of town I love that nigga Man He's incognito And still getting it Got a condo Put up somewhere He'll go to the house Real quick and show you Now don't play You wanna see all the cars I'm quiet with this shit now that's how you supposed to be now. Don't play it's with it. It's hard, man, for you to stand on all two. Yeah. Like that. Stand down for your for Independent, the too, now. Independent. Slim Thugs But independent. he wasn't always independent. Nah, but, but you got you to gotta bump your head or learn. Yeah. You got to do something like that just to get a father. You feel yeah, me? But yeah. he had his business together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that helped, for that real. helped a lot, too. For real. Yeah, for real a bad one. Come on, now. All right, one, that's one to go. All right, then. That's one to go, right, too. Then. That nigga bad, Come man. Come on, for real. That nigga bad, man. All right, then. Shit. So which, which one of your songs do you value like that's the hardest one that you got thus far? I'm gonna say off the lot just because Why? shit. It, Cause it what? It's, I still get paid off that bitch. I still can ride around the whole uh, Texas and, and do a show off that motherfucker. Yeah. You know Texas so motherfucking big. We ain't gotta we get gotta up. Gotta go this nowhere. That's what niggas don't understand. It's but I want to say this too because I used to hear that shit younger and that shit fucked with me. Well, with nigga, if I don't go nowhere, then nigga, I'm good in Texas. Nah, no, don't don't think like that. Don't think like that. That's a fucked up way to think, y'all. <laughs> yes, we could be billionaires up out this motherfucker. You feel me? But still get up out this motherfucker. Want your music. Father, you know what I'm saying? No, but hard. I say off the lot because shit, off the lot, uh, off the lot caused a lot of attraction around this motherfucker to where the Migos was calling a nigga one to get on that hoe. I still can go get me a cool 35, 4,000 off starting one off the lot and the rest of my shit going down. I know it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shit, I done seen Slim Thugs and Propane's and all that. Propane still around this bitch, probably picking up a 10 off. I was in Houston in a minute, I'm back in town. He, back, he be able to see Come you, on now, you see what I'm saying? He probably still picking up a nice 10 off that motherfucker, yeah. you feel yeah. me? So you don't never know, you feel me? So I, I, I'm gonna tell you something, Rizzo, Rizzo. I like your energy, man. Appreciate you, bro. I love the fact that you got to come back. And his perspective. Got to come up next yeah. time, and gonna and be yeah. boss talk. 
with Rizzo. Already. Yeah, we starting a new podcast. Hey, man. man. I, I, but I, just, I just love the way you, you explain yourself. And, and, and I, I'm glad that I took this opportunity to meet you Not while we were down here in Houston, Texas, man. Not and um, we're going to always you. check in when we come back. It's Don't be cool. like Saucewood winning who ain't called me. I'm going to get on My number ass. been the same for 20 years. Wood, I'm on Wood ain't ass. even called me back. I'm here. The nigga could at least pulled up on me. <laughs> I've been here uh, the, two times I done been here. I ain't heard from the nigga, man. <laughs> Supposed to pull up on you. Yeah, say take out to eat. Y'all gonna go eat together. Come on, man. Yeah. We, even if we don't eat, we get all the something in. Yeah, all my wife yeah, can cook. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Cool, they ain't come through, man. Hold on, you said your wife could cook. Yeah. Well, you been with her for twenty. She got to know something. She Jamaica. That's how I got him in the first place. Ooh, don't that put our business yeah. in the street. All right, so what's your favorite man, food? She cook. Man, that uh, the oxtails, man, and rice, yeah. and that and that yeah, cabbage. Yeah. Right? Then she smiled like nigga. She, you know. she know that's the one. <laughs> That's the one gonna keep a nigga coming home, nigga. I love my still too. So she can go. On she can go. Man, shout the out. The next podcast, uh-huh. man, I'm here. I need my plate right on side. Come what I mean. to the shop. We, be, right. we just fed. I'm, you be you don't be watching Boss right. Talk like Are that. Are you here first? I'm coming the next next park next one. I'm being Dallas. Dallas, Texas. With oxtails on the side. Already, man. Hey, Just man. 100K views on this one. Hey. Next one, I'm there. How, how, That's the uh, next one. How can people get a hold of you if they trying to reach out for a feature or just um, reach out to show you? 281. 330 No, or Miss Lavish Ways. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm trying to be like Uzi them. Well, y'all don't even get in touch with me no more, man. I got a manager. It's hard to get in touch with me. Wow. I'm busy. I got man, a manager. If, if you could go back and change anything. I got a manager. If you could go back and change anything <laughs> within the last you know, it started for your career. Until now, what would it be? Nay. You keep it all the same. Mm-hmm. That's hard. That's hard. Uh, and if you wanted, um, I always love to, for you to give a message to the people who are watching. If you want them to learn something from you, what would that message shoot, be? We've been giving messages this whole hour. I know. but They better catch these gems <laughs> on blood. Uh, yeah, but, but, but the, I ice cream, got the ice cream business is yeah. something we didn't talk about a lot. Yeah. I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, I got my own LLC with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Man. It's a lot of That's flavors. Hard, it's man. a lot of ice cream. You know what I'm saying? I'm, it's, it's, it's cold it right good? now, but when the, it's, the thing is, it's just, I buy a lot of, like ice cream truck. You know what I'm saying? Like, you eat ice cream in the wintertime? No, I'm yeah, because I, I just I had an event and I sold some ice cream, right. but I put some hot chocolate on it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm starting. I never heard that before. Put a hot chocolate on, on ice cream. Ice cream truck. On a, oh, so okay. like saying it's a, it's just a regular ice cream truck selling ice cream, but when it was cold, still selling ice cream. I'm selling hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. You know old, what I'm saying? And I made old. some of that money around it's it at old. the time, but I haven't. I'm what's making me stop right now is because I'm 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 giving excuses and saying it's cold. I'm just gonna wait till the summer start mm-hmm. back and go full throttle in it. You know what I'm saying? But I got a little business. It's not a little business. I got a. Big business. We talked about this earlier. Mm-hmm. I got a big business. Damn called. right. It's a lot of ice cream. You know Real big business right my, here. My main goal is I'm trying to have a three, four ice cream trucks in the city. You know what I'm saying? And from, I know if y'all ever heard of the clothing brand, um, uh, 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 what is it called? Like ice cream, uh, the ice yeah, cream brand. Yeah, yeah. My whole thing is thinking of, okay, it's a lot of ice cream. That should be a brand too. So I'm thinking as... Ice cream truck mixed with a clothing brand. Well, off my truck, I can sell merchandise like the shirts, you know what I'm saying, and sell ice cream at the same time. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, yeah, we're going we gonna to get one out there. I, I know, I rock. Yeah, we can me get it. Like, you know, right you know, how, the summer you know how long I've been on in clothing store? Hey, y'all, y'all hear him talking. Tell I'm me. not the type of nigga tell to play with. We can get us a truck, an easy ice cream truck, hire somebody to run that motherfucker, put them on commission, and we got a, it's a lot of ice cream in Dallas. Man, me and That's you easy talk. money. Baby, we don't yeah. talk, huh? It's how many money. flavors y'all got? We sell without like an ice cream truck, mama. I know, but how many flavors? How many flavors it is like in the world? Bluebell 31. Shit, man, whatever many flavors you want to put on that bitch. <laughs> no, mama, we just going to the stores and okay. buying ice Just cream. ice cream. Now, if you want to get technical and make our own ice cream, shit. Let's Google it. He gonna probably come out with his own flavor. Let's go, come man. Come on, Play it. Don't go. Say, man, check it, man. Appreciate you coming on the show. Nah, we love you, brother. Y'all. Thank y'all, bro. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And it's we- hot.